Hi, I'm Connor with North Texas Kids, and you, the viewer of this video, will be our next contender on the North Texas Kids Origami Challenge, where I will put your folding skills to the limits, and I will teach you how to make this. It's a simple origami swan. It takes only about two or three minutes if you're an intermediate, I guess you could say. It takes a little bit longer if you're a beginner. I, myself, not to brag, can make it in about a minute. But now I will show you how to make it, step by step. Now you can have any size paper, but it has to be a square. You start by folding, say, put it this way, like a diamond, with one of the corners pointing toward you. You fold it corner to corner, like this. And if you want your origami to be more precise and quite a bit better, then I suggest that you take your fingernail when folding and crease it like this. See, that's a very crisp fold. It's very thin, as you can see. So, then you unfold it, and you take this corner and this edge, and you fold this edge to the center. And you do this on the other side, too. Here. So it should end up kind of looking like a kite, like this. Now you flip it over, and you do the same sort of thing, except it will look a little bit different. You take this edge, and you fold it into the center. And remember, you have to turn this over before you do this. Okay, it should end up looking something like this, kind of like a torch. So now, what you do is you take this bottom point and you fold it upwards along the center line. Like this. And now you fold the tip of it down, say about the top inch or so. Now, if you look at it closely, it should kind of end up looking a little bit like a turkey. This is how it is supposed to look. If it doesn't look like this, somewhere you did something wrong. Now what you do is with this side, the head of the turkey facing forward, you turn it so the head is facing down and you fold the whole thing in half. Now it should end up looking something like this here. Now what you do, and this may be, a, and this is the trickiest part, you take this and you fold and you pull it upwards, and then you crease it down here. And then for the head, you do the same exact thing. And there you go. Twin swans. And just so you know, these videos are going to come onto YouTube every Thursday. And each week, it's going to get harder and harder. Until... We may finally eventually do where I myself may have to bring out one of my origami books to do these projects. And uh, thank you for watching.
and please support North Texas Kids. There are many expos throughout the year, at least two, and there are many other events where we are located. And uh, that's it for today.